another guy that we've heard connected to the Browns some is uh, Marcus Davenport, um, 27 years old at, for the Saints. He's number 92 here, projected just a one-year $12 million deal. Again, last year Clowney played on basically a $14 million deal. So what you're going to get here is you're going to get him. He's on the tight end here. He's going to step. This is the classic example of setting the edge. So he's going to keep his hips uh, parallel to the line of scrimmage. Uh, he's going to get his hands on this tight end. He's going to keep his right arm free. Uh, he's a guy who's very position flexible. He's 265 pounds, so he can play both the rush and, um, I'm sorry, both the uh, run game and pass rush. Uh, I think he's a guy that has, again, a little bit of attitude, um, plays with a great motor. I love his hands. Uh, he constantly, constantly gets his hands on the guy in front of him, uh, which is going to help him stop in that run. Again, really, really heavy guy. He plays, uh, plays 265, but he plays really, really heavy, but he's still got enough speed to pass rush. Well, and, and you mentioned that, so let's take a look at, um, we saw kind of setting the edge there. Let's take a look at his pass rush here and what you see. Well, you can see me at the top here. This is the classic case of getting caught as an offensive tackle. So obviously he's very good, but this this pass rush, if you look at the top of the screen, he's going to run right over the tackle. Uh, it's a classic bull rush. And what happens there is that by using speed on the edge consistently during the game, that left tackle is going to constantly get out of there. And when he gets out of there, he gets on his heels. So as the, as the defense fan sees that, he's going to now change his pass rush and go from an edge rusher to a bull, uh, bull rush. And this is a classic case of catching this tackle on his heels. Uh, he plays with great leverage, gets his hands inside. Again, he's a he's a pretty nasty guy. He plays angry, uh, really like his mentality when he plays, constant motor. Um, and you can see right here, he's a pretty strong guy. Looks like he would fit that scheme for Jim Schwartz as well. Yeah, and this is a classic case right here where he's lining up wide. He, he plays in both a two-point stance and a three-point stance. Uh, and this is a classic case. This tackle, watching this game, this tackle has been beaten a number of times around the edge. So the only way to kind of combat that is to really get out of there. And when you really get out of there, sometimes you open that gate and you get on your heels and, and then you're beat.